Okay, hello people. Yolanda here again. A day in the life. Um, If you're new to my channel, what I do is just kind of when I got something interesting that happens, I let you know what it is. Mostly I do pen reviews, um, some steampunk stuff. Uh, I don't know. Just whatever strikes my fancy. So, uh, if you're, you know, been watching me, you know what I do. Uh, okay. Today, I got these Micron pens, the inductive Bible study kit. I'm not a Bible person, but they say that it's no smear, fade proof ink, and no bleed through. So, I, when I heard no bleed through, I needed to check it out. And these come in two sizes. The red and the black are one zero one fine. And then they have the 05 mediums. So I'm just going to do a little pen test and let you see what these are about. Okay, whoops. Okay, that's what the zero one fine looks like, if you can see it, you know, but uh, it's really tiny. This is kind of the line variation on it. It's just really tiny. And... Draw my usual square. And that's the black zero one. Here's the red zero one. yellow zero five a pink zero five um from what I can see there is no name on these so you could tell like what the shade of ink is supposed to be i guess this is the identifying number um these are sakura microns um so here is the green zero five blue zero five I like that blue blue is my favorite color A orange Zero five and last but not least, a purple zero five. Now, granted, this is my bullet journal, it is a 100 GSM, so if they don't bleed through, they're not going to bleed through this paper. So let's flip the page. Yep. No bleed through. A little ghosting. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little ghosting here. But no bleed through. So that helps, I guess, 
if you're going to write in your Bible, um, you can write in it and uh, hopefully the ghosting won't be real prominent. Let me see what it looks like in on a piece of regular paper. Okay. Got the green back. Pink. Black. Yellow. Orange. Red. And purple. So, that's what it looks like. And like they said, no bleeding, just some ghosting. So I don't know. Um, I guess to the best thing for me to do is to show you what it does in the Bible. So let me see if I can find a Bible. And we'll put it to that test. Okay, well, here's the Bible, and uh, they use like an onion skin type paper, as you just heard. It is um, really kind of crinkly and very, very thin, because like you can see the ghosting through the paper. So let's see. I think I'm going to write on one of the cover papers rather than in the actual Bible itself. I just feel funny marking up a Bible. So let's see. Let's see. This is a blank page. Um... Let's, what can we do? What can we write in here? I don't know. I don't know what to write. <laughs> like I said, I, um, I feel funny marking up a Bible, but, um, let's see something. Let's get a straight edge. just kind of make an underline or something. Okay. Let's get a, the yellow, and then you can kind of see what it is. So that is the purple 
and the yellow and it shows up really well on the paper and as you can see no real bleed through I mean like a couple places where I, I press really hard you can see a couple dots but it didn't go on to the next page and it's mostly shadow so it uh, I think it lives up to its reputation so um, yeah if you want to get some markers that uh, don't bleed through I think these are them uh, where did I get these I got these from Amazon I don't know where else you can find them, but I'm sure you can find them other places online. Go to, uh, what you call it, uh, Jet Pens or Sakura's uh, website, and you can find them there. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I'm really amazed. So... If you like this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. Uh, leave comments. You know, I, I take, you know, criticism and, you know, uh, praise either way. Um, just so I know what people are looking at. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.